here pregame at Doran Park with last night's player of the game, Cam Foster. Cam, guys couldn't get it done last night, but you had a really good day. What was working for you at the plate? Um, really just my mindset. Uh, I had a lot of confidence going up to the plate yesterday. Um, confidence in my approach, confidence on uh, like what I'm trying to fill in the box, and it worked out for me. Tonight, you guys will take on Brewster, a team that has beaten you twice, but the last time you got the best of them. How are you feeling going into another game with the Whitecaps? Really good. I mean, the team's been swinging it well. The team's been pitching it well, playing good defense, so we have a lot of confidence going into the night. Speaking of confidence, I've also noticed that there seems to be a lot of team chemistry with you guys. You've been here since day one. Can you speak about that at all? Uh, the team chemistry is great. A lot of new guys coming in every day, but they blend right in, so we just keep moving forward, trying to win a championship again. Moving into that final stretch, what do you think goes into winning another championship? Uh, everybody just trusting one another. I mean, we got a lot of talent on this team. We just got to show up with it when the lights come on. Awesome. Thank you, Kim. At Doran Park for the second night in a row, this time taking on another team from the East, the Brewster Whitecaps. I'm Allie Navarrete alongside Cam Mana and Matt Scalzo. Matt, tough loss for the Bravos last night. Take us back to that meeting with Orleans. Yeah, it was a close one, and as you would expect between those two teams, it was really good pitching, and whoever was going to score last was probably going to be the one to win the game, and that's exactly what happened with Orleans. They had the late heroics going, runs in the eighth and in the ninth. Bourne battled back early after Orleans took a lead, put up a crooked number, but really that's the most mojo they got from their offense. It really didn't click the whole night through. After 14-run outburst at Katuit, you thought it was trending upwards for the Bourne offense, but they really didn't have Orleans' number yet again. Orleans has been a thorn in their side, and the, the Firebirds pitching once again was the reason why they won that game. Speaking of pitching on the mound tonight for the Bravos will be Dalton Pence of North Carolina. Cam, he's excelled out of the bullpen, but his last two starts struggled a bit. Yeah, he was great before those two starts, and that first one against Wareham wasn't his worst start overall. The problem for Dalton right now has been that strikeout to walk numbers right now. The, the walk number is getting a little bit too high up there. The stuff is there for Dalton. He had his worst start against Falmouth, only went for two innings in that one, came into the third, and then was taken out in really just a weird game. But for Dalton overall, for him to keep born in this game, hopefully the offense comes alive, he just has to throw strikes. And, you know, that's kind of what his mantra was out of the bullpen early on for him because the stuff is there, but when those walk numbers get high, it helps teams hit the ball for an offense like Brewster. Speaking of offense, Matt, anyone you're looking to in this Bravos lineup today? I'm going to look at Bryce Evelyn in the two spot. I'm also looking at Sam Peterson tonight. Two guys that are starting to find their groove a little bit. Bryce has been swinging a hot bat. He doesn't have any extra base hits, but he has timely hits for Bourne, and that's the biggest thing. Runners on, he's going to find a gap. That's what he's been doing as of late, and Bourne needs offense. So if he's in a big spot, I expect him to deliver. Sam, he's also starting to find his groove as well. At a home run at Katuit, he's starting to hit the ball hard, and he's got a lot of speed if he's able to get on base. Meanwhile, Cam, these Bravos love a bounce back win. Talk about how much they need to win tonight. Huge win for them, and we talk about the West Division standings. Matt and I brought it up last night on the broadcast. Katua had a tie last night. Hyannis is now creeping up on Katua. I think it's a three-and-a-half game difference for them. But now Bourne and Falmouth, both six games back. Bourne actually uh, bumped to that four spot. Falmouth has two ties right now. Bourne still has to play that makeup game with the Gateman. But Bourne has dropped all the way down to that four spot really since the first time since the first two weeks of the season right now. So a win for them is huge, especially playing Falmouth tomorrow. You want to get back on track, beat the Commodores before the uh, two days off for the All-Star break. Bravo's looking to even the season series with Brewster in their final regular season matchup first pitch at six.